Hey everybody, this is Matt Faulkner. I'm the instructor for gesture drawing. Uh, the course number is 232B. Uh, this is gonna just be a brief demo, not, not a brief demo, a brief review of the class's um, syllabus and uh, the beginning of the lesson plan, as well as a little bit of uh, showing you uh, who I am uh, as an illustrator. And um, I uh, just so you know that I'm not just the guy telling you to draw, but that I draw. That's my job. So um, without any further ado, let me share the screen here. Um, and we're going to do, a, uh, like I said, a quick review of the lesson plan uh, and the uh, um, don't want that, I want this. OK, there we go. So here's our um, syllabus and lesson plan. I'm going to skip around through this. Um, just want to touch. Uh, uh, on a couple of things. Um, so we're Saturdays from 11 till 5, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're, we're in the um, Ford building, uh, room 213. Um, and, and this is my phone number. You can text me here if you, in case of emergency, but it's always best to email me with issues and send me imagery through there at this email, not the school's email, but this email. This is the one, especially when you're sending your final artwork, uh, you wanna send um, all final projects to this email because that's where I have everything set up to um, review. Um, and uh, let's move on here. And I don't think we need to, this is in most, of the, uh, you know, th this is the course description. I'm, we're gonna talk about, you can read this. Um, don't, we're not gonna invest a lot of time in that right now. What I do wanna invest time in is um, looking over what we need to have in class. So I definitely want you to have your, um, all of the stuff um, by the beginning of class. Um, a hardbound sketchbook, you may need to have two. An 18 by, uh, that's uh, 14 inches by 11 inches and an 18 by 24. Uh, newsprint pad. You may want to get two of those. Um, a box of Sculpey or Super Sculpey. You may want to get two of those. A set of plastic sculpting sculpting tools. You can see where you can get one of those at Blick. A uh, couple of kneaded erasers. Um, a sharp knife or a razor, and then six of each B lead, four B, and six B pencils. Six of each. These are the recommended texts. I'll let you look through those on your own. That's the grade stuff. You can look through that on your own. And, <laughs> oh, in regard to um, like cell phones, um, yeah, it just says here, it's clear, you know, keep them turned off, but you know, leave it on vibrate for emergencies. I, I won't be looking at my phone uh, during class. That's my promise to you. And unless it's an emergency, if you have an emergency phone call or text, Go ahead right outside and, and uh, you know, excuse yourself from class and address it, but then come back in as quick as you can and put the phone away and, and let's keep on drawing. Um, assignments. The sketchbook will be done at the, due at the end of the uh, semester. We're going to, I'm going to ask you to do 10 drawings per week in your sketchbook, uh, about 10 minutes each for uh, each one of those drawings. Um, we're going to do um, a couple of sculptures uh, with Sculpey. One of them will be based on um, the lessons we've learned from um, a series of demo videos from uh, Eugene Clark, the other gestural uh, uh, sections teacher. Um, first one's going to be the skull, muscle, and tendon sculpture. We're going to put that together. We're going to have a character portrait based upon a character that um, you will come up with. Um, and you're also going to have a character full figure study page that, um, based on the same character. Um, you're going to go to the zoo. Um, on your own uh, by October 9th, and um, a whole series of drawings due for that. Um, we're going to go to the DIA, and we're going to do some uh, sketching there. That'll be a field trip that we do. Um, and we're going to do uh, a character portrait sculpture um, based on another story. We're going to have three or four stories that I'll introduce. The second story that I'll introduce will be called The Earth Gnome. We're going to do a series of um, character pages for that. Um, four different ones, and then two different other stories. Yeah, there's going to be four stories total. Um, on week 13, there'll be another story. You're going to do a couple of drawings that uh, for that. And then also we're going to have a final exam of um, drawing from a story on the last uh, day of class. 
Um, okay, so let's jump right ahead to the uh, lesson plan. Um, let's just do the first week. Uh, this coming Saturday, 9-11, uh, we're going to be doing, uh, first and foremost, we're going to jump you right in there and get you doing some drawing. Uh, just gesture drawing the way um, you see gesture drawing. Then we'll review the syllabus again in class, same thing I'm doing right now. And then I'll do a lecture on what I call the four ways of sketching or drawing. Gesture, contour, volumetric, architectonic drawing um, through a PowerPoint. And then I'll do a gesture drawing in demo. And then we'll do some uh, model drawing in class, gesture drawing. Session two, uh, which is the next three hours on Saturday, we're gonna do a Eugene skull demo video. And um, depending upon when we finish that, the time we'll get busy uh, doing an in-class competition in which um, I'll have you do a couple of character portraits based on the story um, that I'm going to share. And um, there will be awards for an award for the best drawing. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll just have to be there and find out. Okay, and then lastly, Again, the first assignment is actually get yourself to the zoo and draw there. And you just need to do that on or before October 9th. Um, and then lastly, the first set of um, uh, drawings uh, in the sketchbook will be five skull drawings and then five portrait drawings, uh, keeping in mind the things that you learned in Eugene's skull um, demo. Okay, and again, the, the uh, sketchbook, um, will be due at the end of the semester. Okay, and one of the things I want you to consider when you draw in your sketchbook, or actually anywhere you draw, is that you consider the whole page. Um, definitely think about what we call the negative space, that everything is intentional. If you have a big chunk of white space, it's because you wanted to, not because you decided to do, to do a little postage stamp drawing up in the corner and not really consider what's going on in the rest of the page. I also want you to date and sign your drawings. Um, gives them value. And um, don't draw on both sides. Draw on one side, which means you're probably going to need to get a second 11 by 14 sketchbook. A lot of drawing in this class. Okay, now let me jump over to me and some of my work. Yes, I was a child. This is me, about age two. Um, these are my sisters and me. Uh, yes, they are torturing me here. You can see that. Um, part of their torture was they liked to dress me up. Um, they said that they were dressing me up as a superhero, but that looks more like a ballerina to me. Um, a lot of therapy for me involved in that. We won't get into that right now. Um, my best report card ever? I don't know about that, but certainly I wasn't the best student. I had trouble with numbers and letters. I might've been dyslexic. Um, and um, also irritated with my fifth grade teacher that S right there means satisfactory. And it wasn't until the third, the second half of the year that I started to get an S plus. Um, they were so wrong because, um, man, I could draw better than anybody in school. Uh, I love to draw Charlie Brown. Here you can see also I was having, uh, practicing a little bit of my alphabet, not very good at that. Um, oops. Yeah, that's my teacher, Mrs. Duffy. She did not appreciate me drawing her um, as an alien on my fractions quiz. Um, it wasn't until that I, I didn't like to read until I got into, I think I, I say it's when I was 12, but I think this was actually when I was like a freshman in high school and I didn't, um, I read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and ate those books up. They should make movies out of those books someday. I know my lame attempt at humor. Um, I loved this, um, loved The Lord of the Rings when I was a kid. And uh, you know, like a lot of people, I started drawing dwarves and stuff. And I went to a college and went to this college called the Rhode Island School of Design. And um, when I get out, I really like this idea of getting paid for my artwork. I remember, um, you know, turning this into a company called Dungeons and Dragons. And they said, Oh, we like this, go ahead, just put some color on it. And we'll put it in one of our monster manuals. And I did, and they did. And they sent me a check for $1,000. So if you like that idea of being paid, um, you may want to continue with your art education. Um, this is my house. Um, and uh, <clears throat> these, are, uh, this, these are our cats, Milo and Frankie. Uh, Milo's a he and Frankie's a she. Uh, 
Frankie likes to tell me what to do. She does a lot of meowing at me here. She's irritated by something I have done or not done. And Milo likes to trip me up and lie down on my feet uh, whenever that idea strikes him as interesting and fun. Um, I have uh, illustrated and or written over um, 30 books for kids since 1985, which is a long time ago. Um, and uh, some of them, uh, here's four of them that more recent. Um, this is a graphic novel. Um, oh, it's backwards, uh, called Gaijin, American Prisoner of War. This is a, um, a picture book that I wrote and illustrated. So I wrote and illustrated this. I wrote and illustrated A Taste of Color Water. And a couple of recent um, um, publications are um, What's the Big Deal About Freedom and um, Groundhog's Dilemma. This one was written by my lovely wife, Chris. A um, couple of other things right now I have in the works, a couple of other projects. Um, they are graphic novels that I'm working on. Um, one of them is called uh, My Nest of Silence. It's taking me forever to get down there. Come on. Uh, there it is. No, it isn't here. There it is. Uh, My Nest of Silence, which is a companion novel to um, Guy Jin. It is about the Japanese American, um, most, it's about the Japanese American internment camp called Manzanar and a family that's there and one of the, and a little girl who's stuck in that camp with her family and her brother goes off to fight in the Japanese American uh, battalion called the 442nd, which fought in Europe. And then I'm doing working on, uh, or have been, haven't worked on it a little bit. Nobody's bought this yet. Um, this is a graphic novel for another a writer um, called, um, I can't tell you what it's called because nobody bought it yet. But it's basically like, you know, a dystopian in the future um, graphic novel. Um, and it's for older, it's for high school kids. And um, it's got Bob's big boy in it um, and cursing and so forth. So, all right, um, that's my work. Uh, let me stop sharing here. We're gonna have um, a lot of things to do in this class. It is a work intensive class. It is designed to be transformational. Whatever you bring to class, if you apply what's shared with you, you your work will change and grow and change uh, in a proactive, a way so that you, if you, like I said, if you do actually take what's given and, um, and do the work, you won't recognize the work that you do uh, at the end of the semester, I, I guarantee you. Um, so it's gonna be up to you. Um, and uh, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you uh, first day of class and um, let's go draw. <laughs>